YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury and a budget, so if you're into that sort of thing, please subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post a new video, and like the videos that you enjoy. Today I have a quick unboxing for you from Louis Vuitton. I went there yesterday. This is an item that I have previously had in my collection and I've talked about selling it. I had it in a vlog sale actually. And I think I had it in a vlog sale. I ended up selling it to Fashion File and I sold it because I didn't like the condition that it was in. I bought it pre-loved for a deal. This was in my early days as somebody buying Louis Vuitton and doing it pre-loved. I was more concerned about the deal than I was about the condition and that is a mistake in my opinion because over time you care more about the condition. At least that's been my experience and I think it's the experience of a lot of other people too. So I decided to sell that one and buy a brand new one even though it would be a little more expensive but I'd be happier with it because the other one every time I saw it I didn't feel thrilled about it. It was still pretty I just wanted a new one every time I saw the old one. And that was one of my luxury mistakes, one of my learning experiences. Let me think. I bought that piece for $250 from Fashion File. I sold it back to Fashion File for $100. That was a few years later. So I ended up really only paying $150 for that piece. And I think of that as well, one of the ways I try to justify that is like it's sort of like a rental fee for that piece or that's the cost of my learning experience and I know not to do that again. So if you make mistakes like that, don't be too hard on yourself. It's just money anyway, right? Let's go ahead and get to this. Way too expensive for what it is, but that's okay. I really wanted it. I knew it was a piece I really loved and I was willing to go ahead and get it new this time. So here's my receipt. They have changed these. I haven't bought anything from Vuitton in a while. They used to have the long um, receipt holders and they've got short ones now and they got rid of the old big paper receipts that were on like Vuitton, not stationary, but Vuitton paper and now it's just regular receipt paper. But I wanted to show you the card of my SA at the big Louis Vuitton store in Houston at the Houston Galleria. There are three Louis Vuitton stores at the Galleria. There's a main one in the middle of the mall and then there's one in Saks and one in Neiman's, the boutique and she's in the main store. This is their new business card, by the way. Her name is Rebecca Gary, and she said it was okay to show her information here. I will also link it down below for you. I'll go ahead and put her information below in case you need a, an associate at the Houston store. You can get in touch with her. She's very helpful. She knows what she's doing. She was actually my salesperson at Henry Bendel before they closed. So I walked into Vuitton one day and there she was, like, hey, Becca. So she's always been very kind and helpful to me and I would definitely recommend that. I also wanna say that it seems like every time I go into that Houston store, that big one, that they tend to have a lot of the items that are hard to find or that are new collections that sell out everywhere. And if they don't, then one of the other stores often has a piece that I'm looking for. So even if you're not in the Houston area, if you're looking for something, give Becca a call or a text and she might be able to find it for you. They might have it at the Houston store. Keep that in mind. This item retails for $300, which is so overpriced, but isn't everything at Vuitton. Like I said, when I talked about this piece, my um, Florida monogram charm, this is another piece that probably cost $5 or less for them to make, but they charge $300 for it. It's crazy. So I got this nice square box, and let's see if she put a dust bag in it, because it's not an item that would have to have a dust bag. But she did, good. And she did the little drawstring one. I like those. The drawstring bags come in handy, I think. You can use those in your purse for different things. Um, yeah, thank you, Becca. So I'm going to open this up and pull it out there she is this is the she called it the facet i've always called it the facetties it's the facet bag charm so the one that i had was it had a lot of scratches that part didn't bother me so much but what had bothered me on the older piece was that the gold plating or gold colored plating had worn off in a lot of places so it was silver in some places, silver toned. That bothered me. It just looked worn. 
So this little tag is on. And let me give you the item number in case. I mean, this is something that's always available from Vuitton, but there's the item number M65216 in case you're interested. LV on the back of that tag there. And she left it in the plastic. She actually asked me if I wanted the plastic taken off and I said no, just leave it on. So taking it off now. And of course she let me inspect it in the store too to make sure it was good. And I already knew I loved it because it was a piece I'd had before. So there it is. One thing that I love about this piece is that it's so substantial. Before I ever saw this in person, I thought it would be a little smaller, I thought it would be lighter, I thought the metal would be thinner. Can you tell how thick the metal is there? It's just a really substantial piece. It has the U-clip and then it has a regular keychain. On one side of the keychain, Louis Vuitton, it's going to be hard to read, but it says Louis Vuitton engraved in there. On the U-clip, on both sides it says Louis Vuitton, have it upside down. On that little octagonal piece right there inside the key ring that has an LV engraved on it on both sides. And then it also has this little tag here that on one side it says made in Italy and on the other side it gives, it's very hard to read. So one side it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy and on the other side it has the item number which was on that tag and then some other incredibly tiny number that you'd have to be an ant, a literate ant, to know how to read. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Let me put it on my Speedy here so you can see. There it is. Gorgeous. That, it's my favorite bag charm and the Florida monogram comes in a close second. So I couldn't go very long without having that in my collection. I love it. And I was wondering if I'd like both of them together. What do you think? Is it too much or do they work together because they're both gold? It has two little LVs. I kind of like it. And then let me clip it on the back so you can see it without the Florida de monogram, just by itself on the bag. That looks nice. Especially on a piece that's not monogram, it adds a little shine, a little shimmer. Here it is on the pochette accessoire, and you can see it against the monogram pattern. That's pretty. And I especially love to hang it from my Eva bag. I think that looks really nice. So you could hang it there where it kind of falls on the front, or you could hang it on the other D-ring, which is where I usually put it, where it hangs off to the side and kind of swings around when you carry the bag. And I think that's really pretty too. I think this particular charm is really pretty anywhere you wear it. It's just a beautiful, simple, classic, gorgeous, elegant charm. I love it. One thing I noticed when I looked at this in the store was that the U-clip, I'm going to do something while I'm talking to you here. I'm going to take the Florida monogram charm off my speedy. Um, the U-clip seemed a little bigger and thicker than I remembered it being on my first facet charm. And now that I have this charm, I can compare the two and they're the same. So they're exactly the same, which makes me feel even better about this because I know there are some very good replicas of this piece, but this looks completely identical. The weight, the feel of it, it's all the same. So yeah, feel good about that. Here it is against the Damier Azur, in case you're wondering. And when I noticed how thick this clasp is, I wondered if it would fit through the little rings on my terrain here because if you can see I've talked about this before the space between the vachetta is so small some of the clips don't fit very well there without kind of scraping up against the vachetta but that fits just fine it's perfect beautiful love it do you guys wear bag charms on your bags if so what are your favorites do you feel like with a louis vuitton bag or, or with any brand do you feel like you have to have a bag charm of the same brand do you mix it up do you feel like it's not worth spending money like luxury money on bag charms you'd rather spend that on handbags and slgs 
and you buy inexpensive bag charms and wear those on your expensive bags, what do you do? I'd be especially curious about what your favorite bag charm is if you have a little collection of them. Just let us know that in the comments section below and have a fantastic day. Bye.